Hey guys, what's up and welcome to what's in my nightstand? Is this even a thing on YouTube? I don't even know. I meant to look it up. I didn't. This is something I wanted to film just because for no reason. Have you ever wondered what's in somebody's nightstand? Ever wondered? No? Well, you don't have to watch this video, but I'm going to show you exactly what I keep in my nightstand. There's a lot of things in there. Um, nothing weird, don't worry. And I didn't take anything out. Um, Alright, we're going to start with the top. Then we're going to go into each drawer. And uh, let's call this nightstand tour or something. I don't know. But on top, I keep a coaster. Sometimes I'll bring a drink in here. Usually I don't, but sometimes I do. At least I have a coaster to protect the table. I keep the remote here for the uh, space heater that we have, just in case we need a little bit more heat in here. This room, we keep the door closed because of the cat, and it tends to get a little bit chillier than the rest of the house. So that's how we have that. We don't use that very often. And then I have my Vaseline for men. I love this hand lotion. Like, I don't use this all around. It's really just like a winter thing when my hands pretty much become sandpaper. Uh, this stuff, the reason I like it is, one, it works really, really well. Two, it absorbs into your fingers. Nothing worse than putting on hand lotion and then deciding to check your phone for something. And then you're leasing, leaving greasy smudges all over the place. I hate that. This doesn't do that. It doesn't do it at all. Just allow it like 30 seconds to dry. You're good to go. Touch your iPad, your phone, whatever. Switch. Um, what else we got? I also have a... Uh, Wireless charger. I put my phone down right on that. It's an iHome brand. That's nice not having to plug the phone in. You just put it down. Especially waking up to turn off the alarm. I don't have to like use two hands to unplug it. I just grab it with one. And then I have my Apple Watch on a watch stand right there. It's just a basic thing where the Apple Watch can sit on it. And then I have three wires. I have a USB cable. I have a uh, an Apple Lightning charger in case I have to charge my uh, iPad here. Usually I charge it out there. Oh, the USB also is for the uh, baby monitor. And then I also have a USB-C, which the only thing I have that, that uses that is the Nintendo Switch. So uh, let's, let's pan it over a little bit this way. Alright, so that's pretty much the top. Let's dig into the top drawer. Alright, so the drawer is a regular drawer. But it also has this sliding wood thing that comes out. So let's start with that. What do I have in here? The first pouch is headphones. Just a regular Apple headphones that plug in. And there's also the dongle in there. And then I have this pouch here, which I keep my wireless headphones in. Those are my wireless headphones. So two different pouches, depending on which device I'm using. Like, for instance, I never really use it, but the Switch has headphone jack. Um, I would use the regular headphones. But anything else, I'd use my Bluetooth headphones. I also have my old wedding ring in here. Do you guys remember this one? This is the one that irritates my skin and I cannot wear anymore. It's just in there for no reason. Then I got my ChapStick Classic Medicated. This stuff is also really good if you have chapped lips, or like if they're cut and stuff. Put this on overnight and you're like pretty much good to go the next morning usually. And then there's a random fidget spinner. I don't ever play with this, but it's in there. And that's it for the top part. Now let's dig into the, bit, the middle here or the main section. So we have this pouch here. This is where I keep, I don't know why I keep it in here, but... I have battery backup like things. What are they called? Backup batteries? Little uh, things that you plug your phone into or your switch or your anything really, any electronics. I keep the bigger ones out there, but there's also a smaller one in here. And then I have all the different wires that I would ever use for them. So there's basically, there's a USB-C, there's a mini micro USB, there's Apple, there's regular ones, and then things to actually charge this. That's really all that's in here. Like I said, I'm not sure why I keep this stuff in my nightstand, but I do. Then I have my Kindle Paperwhite, which I usually don't use this very often. I go on kicks of reading books, and then I stop. Like recently, I was kind of reading again, and then I stopped again. So I have the Kindle Paperwhite here, and the case. Actually, why don't I just keep it in there? Because 
Not sure why it's out. I think I was using it without the case, and then I just threw it in there. But there's my Kindle. The only other thing on the top part here, there's a lot of stuff in the bottom one, so. Is my Nintendo 3DS. Once I got the Switch, I have not touched this thing once. I mean, I've touched it, but I've never played it. But I want to keep it. I want to keep it. It's, I don't know, kind of sentimental in a sense. Plus, it's a ton of games on there. So, that's really it for the top part. Let's throw that back in here. And we're going into the bottom part. Got my uh, smoothie over here. Excuse me. I need a sip. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. All right, so this is where I throw in any greeting cards they may buy for upcoming things. Valentine's Day is in a couple days, so I got Sophia's and Liz's. Oh, let me show you Sophia's. She's going to absolutely love it. She's going to absolutely love it. It's one of those with the flippy sequins, right? Right? Ah, she's going to love it. She's going to love it. Flippy sequins on a card. What? So I had to get that for her. All right, so the bottom, it's kind of a mess in here. First of all, if you don't know me, I'm kind of a cell phone case junkie. I'm a lot less now. There was a time where I would buy a case like, I don't know, once a month or something like, maybe even more. But honestly, I haven't bought a case in a very long time. And I kind of just switch between all the different ones that I have, depending on my mood. I'm tired of this one, let me move to the next one. Right now I'm going naked. I don't have any case on it. It's a little risky because it's very slippery. It's the iPhone 10, which is really slippery. Really slippery, but I'm very careful with it. I've never dropped it. So, all right, let's do like a case tour, I guess. We have like a folio type that opens up and it also becomes like a little stand. I like this one. I like this one, but not all the time. I always need a change for my cases. No matter how much I like my phone case, I always need a change. Then we have a basic one with just white on the back. Then we have uh, this one I actually like. It's just a basic one, but it has the ring on the back where you can put your finger through. You don't have to worry about dropping it and stuff. The only reason I don't like this one is because the metal or the magnet in here, I think this is actually a magnet too, so it works with those magnet mounts in the cars. The, the only reason is the magnet interferes with the wireless charging on here. I used it the first night, woke up the next morning, this thing was boiling hot. Boiling hot. So I don't use it anymore. I kept it in case I, I, you know, I don't have to use the wireless charger, I just really like it. But if I really wanted to use this, I would just plug it into the, I have the Apple charger right there actually. All right, fourth case is actually my first case I ever bought for this phone. It's one of those specs. It has uh, rubber rubber lines on it. It's grippy. It's cool. It's good. Another one is the most basic case I could find, where it basically kind of almost feels like you don't have anything on your phone. It's very flimsy plastic. It just covers just enough, basically. And last but not least, one of my faves. It's metal on the back. And it's got a kickstand, so it actually stands up this way and this way. Or, you you know, this way as well. But uh, one of my faves, one of my faves. So right there, it goes to show you I have six phone cases. But I've slowed down. I don't, like I said, I don't really buy them anymore. As long as I have like two or three to change, I think I'm good now. Because, you know, they get pricey. All right, so let's, uh, let's dive into there. I have some Switch things as well. I have... Now, with the Switch, I buy games digitally. I don't keep, like, the physical copy. But it has a game slot. And I wanted one game in there, and that's... Zelda Breath of the Wild, the best game on the Nintendo Switch. I will be playing this again sometime in 2019. Not yet. I'm not ready yet, but I need to st I need to play it again. So I have the case in here. And then I also have uh, a battery backpack for the switch, you hit these two buttons on the back and the switch goes into it, you close it, and um, it's a backup battery basically, it ex extends the battery. I never use this really. It's got a kickstand as well and um, it's good. It makes it heavier and bigger and with this on you can't put it in the dock to charge it or use it for the TV, but I think I just have it for travel and I don't know. I don't know. I really don't use it too much. Another thing uh, for the case, 
uh, for the Switch is a case. It's just like a one-piece case. Uh, the only thing about it is kind of annoying to take out and you can't keep it in your dock. Now, if you never use it in your dock and you just use this strictly as a handheld gaming device, then this is perfect for you. You know, you don't have to take the Switch controllers out. Actually, I think you can see how it's open here. I'm not sure, but I like this one. It's nice and sturdy. It feels good. You still see the Nintendo on the back because it's clear here. I kind of like that. It's got all the proper vents for cooling and everything that you would need. Volume charging, everything. I really like this. I wish I could use it, honestly. But every time I'm done playing it, I always put it in the dock. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll change it one day. And last Switch thing I have in here is uh, the case. Now, I don't use this in the house. I usually just play games in the house. But if I'm ever taking it somewhere out or on vacation or something like that, traveling, then I throw it in here. It's a Tom Talk brand. Absolutely love this color. It's hard and soft at the same time. It's kind of hard. It's got the, uh, you know, the buttons here. It kind of looks cool. Two buttons. I mean, two zippers. Opens up. Put your switch in there. This is for uh, game cards, which I don't have because I go digital, basically. Alright, so that's my switch stuff. Now let's move on to <sighs> random stuff. Ready for some random stuff, guys? We got a phone case. I mean, a glasses case with nothing in it, just an extra glasses case. And another glasses case, see that was a soft one, this is a hard one. And in here I actually keep my uh, glasses cleaning stuff. I got microfiber cloths and glasses cleaning uh, liquid over here. Moving on, we have a, I have another one that I keep out in the kitchen. This is just an extra one. It's a thing where you can prop your phone up. You put it there and you put your phone in it and you can watch something. It's just an extra phone stand. I think it works for iPads too. Like I said, random stuff. Now we have a little tray. A little tray! In here is a charger for the uh, 3DS. Uh, a little gri grippy things for the Switch. The two little things that go on the thumbsticks. Randomly in there. Actually, I'm gonna move this to where my old my other Switch stuff is, all the controllers and stuff. Uh, I have a pen. My old wallet that I don't use anymore, but I like to switch out my wallet sometimes, and this is still in great condition, and I really like it, so I'm keeping it. And uh, a Switch blade, or a little, little blade. I'm not sure why this is in here either. Um, but like I said, random. And then there's only one thing left, guys. It's a mug that Sophia made for me. And uh, there's some random stuff in here. Actually, I can't show you this because it's my my dental card and my vision card. I don't keep those in my wallet because I basically go there once a year. You know, my medical card is in my wallet, but like this stuff, I don't need to keep it in my wallet, weighing down my wallet, making my wallet thicker. So I keep it in here. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here. You ready? Okay. I have extra watch bands for my Apple Watch. I like to switch them sometimes, and these are the ones that you've probably seen a lot. Now I'm just using the standard one, the standard black. But I'll switch to this maybe in a couple months, something like that, switch it up. Then I have eye drops, because I get dry eyes in the winter. Although, past month or two, I haven't gotten it. I don't know why, but I'm happy about it. But these are my eye drops, keep them in there. Uh, what else? Oh, another watch band for my Apple Watch, except it's the metal, it's just metal band. Basically, I, I wear this only when I'm like dressing fancy for whatever reason. If we're going to a wedding, or when I went on the cruise and we had to dress up those couple nights, I brought it and wore this one instead of the regular one. Just makes it a little bit nicer looking, a little bit fancier, I guess. So I have that option. Not sure why this is here at all. I'm probably going to throw this out because what's the point of even having this? But it's a little master lock. Or I'm going to put this in my toolbox or something with a key. I, I'm not sure why this would even be in here. I'm moving this to my toolbox <laughs> after the video. Oh, my old is another wedding ring. Guys, how many wedding rings do I have? I used to paint houses for a living with my brothers. And um, I didn't want to mess up my... Uh, my regular wedding band with sandpaper, paint, stuff like that. Uh, so 
I got this the same time that I got my uh, my other wedding band. Basically, basically, I actually bought this from Aruba and our. Uh, on our honeymoon, so that's when we bought it. I thought it would be cool to buy it from Aruba, but I don't even know what it's made of. It, it's very, very light. It's a ring, and it's got like three stripes all around it. I don't know if you could see that, but I don't know. I'd never wear this one. And the only last thing in here is actually my wedding gift from Liz. It's a necklace. It's a necklace. It's like one of those like uh, metal bead necklaces. On the front is uh, a row of like black diamonds, actually two rows off the side, black diamonds. And then on the back it says our wedding date, 110808, our initials and stuff like, uh, you know, like her init first initial, my last initial. No, her first initial, my first initial, and then the middle, a big letter would be our middle name's initial. So that is it, guys. <laughs> I thought this might be kind of interesting. Because, like, I don't know, have you ever thought, like, hey, I wonder what's in that person's nightstand? Like, that's not really a thought process that would go through my head. That's not something I think of regularly, generally. But if you had the opportunity to find out, wouldn't you kind of want to take a peek? See what's in the nightstand? Um, did, it, did anything surprise you guys that was in here? I think it's just kind of random stuff. It's my, my space to keep something that... I'm afraid of losing, like, my wedding necklace. Uh, I don't have a place to keep jewelry, and you know, besides this. And then that's why I keep my extra switch and my headphones. I don't know, sometimes I use headphones in bed if I'm laying next to Liz and I don't want to, like, wake her with audio. Usually I don't, but sometimes. And um, sometimes I have to edit with headphones. But I don't know, it just seems like a convenient place to keep this stuff. Dead electronics I don't really use, the 3DS and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys thought about this video. Uh, if you want to see something similar to this, like different, like a different furniture or something like that, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. And uh, what's the weirdest item that you have in your nightstand? Leave it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. This is